Discover the Nilotic people, darkest, tallest and thinnest people on earth. Hello Displorers, welcome to another interesting video presented to you by Displo and thanks for watching. The ethnic variations of humans on the planet are an indication of the variety, difference and beauty of the world. Africa is one of the continents with the most diverse ethnic population in the world, with genetic variations and relationships among its population. Studies have indicated a high degree of mixed ancestry in Africa, reflecting migration events. Amongst the most popular of these groups are the Bantu, Gishitic, and Nilotic ancestry in varying degrees. Hence, in this video, we shall discover the Nilotus, the darkest, tallest, and thinnest people on earth. The Nilotic peoples are peoples indigenous to the Nile Valley, who speak Nilotic languages inhabiting South Sudan, Sudan, Ethiopia, Uganda, Kenya, DR Congo, Rwanda, and Tanzania. The Nilotis constitute the majority of the population in South Sudan, an area that is believed to be their original point of dispersal. After the Bantu peoples, they constitute the second most numerous groups of peoples inhabiting the African Great Lakes region, around the Eastern Great Rift, as well as a notable part of the population of southwestern Ethiopia. The Nilotic peoples primarily adhere to Christianity and traditional faiths, including the Dinka religion. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any of our videos. The terms Nilotic and Nilot were previously used as racial subclassifications based on anthropological observations of the distinct body morphology of many Nilotic speakers. 20th century social scientists have largely discarded such efforts to classify peoples according to their physical characteristics in favor of using linguistic studies to distinguish among people. Etymologically, the terms Nilotic and Nilot is derived from the Nile Valley, specifically the Upper Nile and its tributaries, where most Sudanese Nilo-Saharan speaking people live. Ethnic or Linguistic Divisions Linguistically, Nilotic people are divided into three subgroups. The first one is the Eastern Nilotic spoken by Nilotic populations in southwestern Ethiopia. Eastern South Sudan, Northeastern Uganda, Western Kenya and Northern Tanzania, whose languages include Turkana and Mazai. The second is the Southern Nilotic spoken by Nilotic populations in Western Kenya, Northern Tanzania and Eastern Uganda. And the third are the Western Nilotic spoken by Nilotic populations in South Sudan, Sudan, Northeastern DR Congo, Northern Uganda, Southwestern Kenya, Northern Tanzania and Southwestern Ethiopia, with languages such as the Dinka Nuer languages, Luo languages and the Burun languages. Ethnic groups Nilotic people constitute the bulk of the population of South Sudan, the largest of who are the Dinka, who have as many as 25 ethnic subdivisions. The next largest group are the Nur, followed by the Shilok. The Nilotic people in Uganda include the Luo peoples, Ateka peoples, Sebai and Kakwa. In East Africa, the Nilots are often subdivided into three general groups, who are the Plain Nilots, the River Lake Nilots and the Chuluo, who are part of the larger Luo group. The Highland Nilot are subdivided into two groups, the Kalenjin and the Datok. History A proto-Nilotic unity, separate from an earlier undifferentiated Eastern Sudanic unity, is assumed to have emerged by the 3rd millennium BC. The development of the proto-Nilot as a group may have been connected with their domestication of livestock. The Eastern Sudanic unity must have been considerably earlier still, perhaps around the 5th millennium BC. The original locus of the early Nilotic speakers was presumably east of the Nile in what is now South Sudan. The proto nilotes of the 3rd millennium BC were pastoralist, while their neighbors, the proto Central Sudanic peoples, were mostly agriculturalist. Nilotic people practiced a mixed economy of cattle pastoralism, fishing, and seed cultivation. Some of the earliest archaeological findings on record that describe a similar culture to this form from the same region are found at Kadero. 48 kilometers north of Khartoum in Sudan, and dates to 3000 BC. Kadero contains the remains of a Khartoum pastoralist culture, as well as a cemetery with skeletal remains featuring sub-Saharan African phenotypes. It also contains evidence of other animal domestication, artistry, long-distance trade, seed cultivation, and fish consumption. Genetic and linguistic studies have demonstrated that Nubian people in northern Sudan and southern Egypt are an admixed group that started off as a population closely related to Nilotic people. This population later received significant gene flow from Middle Eastern and other Eastern African populations. Nubians are considered to be descendants of the early inhabitants of the Nile Valley who later formed the Kingdom of Kush, which included Kerma and Meroe, and the medieval Christian kingdoms of Makuria, Nobatia and Alodia. Early Expansion 
Language evidence indicates an early initial southward expansion out of the Nilotic nursery into far southern Sudan beginning in the second millennium BC. The southern Nilotic communities that participated in this expansion would eventually reach western Kenya between 1000 and 500 BC. Their arrival occurred shortly before the introduction of iron to East Africa where Nilotic speakers such as the Dinka, Shiluk and Luo took over. This group spread from the Sud marshlands where archaeological evidence shows that a culture based on transhuman cattle raising had been present since 3000 BC. The Nilotic culture in that area may thus be continuous to that date. The Nilotic expansion from the Sud marshes into the rest of the South Sudan coincided with the collapse of the Christian Nubian kingdoms of Mancuria and Alodia and the penetration of Arab traders into Central Sudan. From the Arabs and South Sudanese, they may have obtained new breeds of hump lease cattle, which may have explained how the Nilotic speakers expanded to dominate the region, especially the Shilok. By the 16th century, the most powerful group among the Nilotic speakers were the Kolo, also called the Shilok by Arabs and Europeans, who spread east to the banks of the White Nile under the legendary leadership of Nikang, who is said to have ruled Lag Kolo between 1490 to 1517. The Kolo gained control of the west bank of the river as far north as Kosti in Sudan. There, they established an economy based on cattle raising, cereal farming and fishing with small villages located along the length of the river. The Kolo developed an intensive system of agriculture and the Kolo lands in the 17th century had a population density similar to that of Egyptian Nile lands. The Dinka remained in the Sud area, maintaining their transhuman economy. While the Dinka were protected and isolated from their neighbors, the Kolo were more involved in international affairs. The Kolo controlled the west bank of the White Nile, but the other side was controlled by the Fung Sultanate, and then there was regular conflict between the two. The Kolo had the ability to quickly raid outside areas by war canoe, and had control of the waters of the Nile. The Fung had a standing army of armored cavalry, and this force allowed them to dominate the plains of the Sahel. Culture and Religion with cultural and religious richness which has been mostly passed down orally and some documented, most Nilots continue to practice pastoralism, migrating on a seasonal basis with their herds of livestock and some tribes which are also known for tradition of cattle raiding. Through lengthy interaction with neighboring peoples, the Nilots in East Africa have adopted many customs and practices from southern Cushitic groups. The latter include the age-set system of social organization, circumcision and vocabulary terms. In terms of religious beliefs, Nilots primarily adhere to traditional faiths and Christianity, but the Dinka religion has a pantheon of deities. The supreme creator god is Nialik, who is the god of the sky and rain, and the ruler of all the spirits. He is believed to be present in all of creation and to control the destiny of every human, plant and animal on earth. Nialik is also known as Jak, Juong or Jokin by other Nilotic groups such as the Nua and Shiluk. Denjit or Deng is a sky god of rain and fertility, empowered by Nialik. Deng's mother is Abok, the patron goddess of gardening and all women, represented by a snake. Garang, another deity, is believed or assumed by some Dinka to be a god suppressed by Deng with a spirit that can cause most Dinka women and some men to scream. In the Lotuko mythology, the chief god is called Ajok and is generally seen as kind and benevolent but can be angered. He once reportedly answered a woman's prayer for the resurrection of her son. Physiology Physically, Nilots are noted for their typically very dark skin color and slender, tall bodies, often possessing exceptionally long limbs, particularly vis-a-vis -vis the distal segments of the forearms calves. This characteristic is thought to be a climatic adaptation to allow their bodies to shed heat more efficiently. Sudanese Nilots are regarded as one of the tallest people in the world who accordingly to studies by Robert and Brainbridge of 1963 have an average height of 182.6 cm and 58.8 kg for weight in a sample of Sudanese Shilok. In terms of facial features, here Nauchin, 1975 observed that the nasal profile most common among Nilotic populations is broad with characteristically high index values ranging from 86.9 to 92.0. He also reported that lower nasal indices are often found amongst Nilots who inhabit the more southerly Great Lakes region, such as the Mazai, a fact which he attributed to genetic differences. Additionally, it has been remarked that the Nilotic groups presently inhabiting the African Great Lakes region are sometimes smaller in statue than those residing in the Sudan region. 
Campbell et al. of 2006 recorded measurements of 172.0 cm against 53.6 kg in a sample of agricultural Turkana in northern Kenya and of 174.9 cm against 53.0 kg in pastoral Turkana. Hernox similarly listed a height of 172.7 cm for Masai in southern Kenya with an extreme trunk against leg length ratio of 47.7. As a result of their unique physiology, many nilotic groups excel in long and middle distance running. Some researchers have suggested that this sporting prowess is related to the exceptionally running economy, a function of slim body morphology and slender legs. A study by Pitsilades et al. in 2006 surveyed 404 elite Kenyan distance runners and found that 76% of the international class respondents identified as part of the Kalenjin ethnic group and that 79% spoke a nilotic language. There you have it, Desplorers. That was a look at the darkest, tallest, and thinnest people in the world, Nilots. Thanks for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.